I have covered a lot of Evercade on my channel and I'm really excited to get the newest releases from Blaze Entertainment. And this is the Renovation Collection 1. This is multi-cart number 23. And I am a huge Renovation fan. I actually did a ranking video of their games for the Sega Genesis. And this includes 12, 12 games that Renovation published including several classics, you're gonna have your favorites. I know I have mine. And so what I'm doing is covering all the Evercade products. And if you want to see more, there's a playlist and the link is below to my other Evercade videos. So here it is, Renovation. I know for many Sega Genesis and Mega Drive fans, you know, they had some excellent releases. And I know that, you know, whether you're into RPGs or shooters, you know, Renovation really was kind of like a, a great third party publisher for the Sega Genesis. And, you know, it was a subsidiary of Telenet. And a lot of these original releases are super expensive now. So getting all of them for the low price of $20, that's awesome. And so here we go. Here's the list of the games. And I'm gonna show you some, some just a sample of gameplay footage. I'm not gonna go in depth here. This is just kind of a first look. But you know, if you grew up with Sega Genesis, or maybe you didn't, maybe you kind of missed the boat and you want to sample what Renovation offered. This is the first volume. First up, Arcus Odyssey. And this is kind of a gauntlet style game. One of four characters you can play. Uh, it's a great versus game too, because you can play it with two players. Pretty difficult. I do enjoy this game, and it's actually one of my uh, more favorite games of this collection. I have about five on this first collection that I prefer, and this is one of those. For sure, lots to enjoy here. Magic, uh, branching. Uh, levels and stuff next up is beast wrestler now this is not my favorite game there are some people out here that like the the art design and if you're into wrestling games and like uh, fighting with weird aliens this one doesn't do it for me but i know there's fans out there so yes another versus game that you can play with another player or uh, play against the computer but you know uh, unique design if anything i didn't like the gameplay of this one but you know, for some out there, you really enjoy this. Next up is a pinball game, Dino Land. And you know, uh, while I don't like the ball physics of this, I have really been getting into pinball games lately. And so this one was kind of fun to go back and revisit. But for sure, of this collection, I mean, you could go and, and do much worse. For 20 bucks, 12 renovation games, yeah, sign me up. Uh, this is a great collection of games. Uh, this is kind of middle of the road for me for pinball games, but El Viento is definitely one of the best on this collection. Hands down, probably one of the best of what they've released with Volume 1, and I know there's many fans of this game. Excellent side-scroller, magic, great gameplay. Really, it's, it's everything you would want in a Sega Genesis release. For sure, this is going to be a, the, a, a very affordable way of playing this, the legal way. And, and I know there's fans out there. For sure, this is the, the top of the list. Now, Exile, I played this more on a TurboGrafx-16 CD, uh, but you know, adding an RPG, it really kind of mixes it up. And so there's lots of different games on this collection. And Exile's not bad. I do like the side-scrolling action parts of this game. So it's not just kind of the run-of-the-mill RPG. It has some colorful graphics and you are gonna have many hours of gameplay with uh, built-in save slots too. Final Zone is kind of an overhead uh, isometric perspective mech game and taking out enemies each level. Uh, the gameplay for me was a little clunky, but you know, uh, if you're a fan of games like, a, like Desert Strike or something, you may feel right at home where you like mech games. But for me, there were some other games that I preferred on this collection, but Final Zone's not bad. Another A-tier game is Gaia's, and this is an excellent horizontal shooter, one of the best on the Sega Genesis, with its cool power-up system where you're stealing abilities from enemies. Fantastic. By far one of the best of this collection, and worth the emission price alone. 
I love this game. It's one of my favorite shooters for the Sega Genesis. And in my original ranking of this, I do believe I gave it an A. Someone give it an S. Anyways, next up is Granada. Granada is a great top-down kind of tank shooter. Lots of cool enemies and power-ups and huge levels. Uh, there is a timer on the level, each level, but you know, I, I know there's lots of fans of this single player game. It is a really awesome experience and one of the better games on this collection. This is definitely in that kind of like top six on this collection for sure for me personally. Next up is Soul Dice, which is not as good as Gaia's and you know, for me it's kind of an average shooter, but it's a welcome addition. I mean, all these games for only 20 bucks, I mean, I know there's, for many out there, this is gonna be one of the best Evercade multi-carts in the collection. I, I have a friend, he's a huge fan of Renovation. He's really excited about this compilation and I think they did awesome. Choosing 12 great games, mixed it up. Uh, next one is Treja, and Treja is kind of your standard RPG, kind of old school. Now, some of the some of the interface is a little clunky, but you can do much worse. And if you're a fan of old school RPGs, uh, I think this is going to be an excellent choice. You know, for me lately, with just really my busy schedule, it's hard for me to delve into RPGs. But I know there's several fans out there, and this is a good pick for sure. Next, you have the original Valis. For the Sega Genesis, now I prefer Valus 3. I thought Valus 1 was a little slow, but if you want to go back and play the original Valus for Sega Genesis, this is by far one of the most affordable ways of doing it legally. And you know, I know you know going back and and checking out the story and you know seeing how far the series has progressed as well. You know, I really like that it's included on here, but you know, for me, it's all about Valus 3. I really think this is a much better game. I love the intermissions. I love the, the gameplay is a little bit faster. I thought the level design was better. It's just to me a much better game and one of my favorites on this collection. El Viento and Gaires is probably probably my two favorite of all time, but this is definitely in the, like the top six. But you know, for this collection, it's amazing. Gets my thumbs up. Next up is a very different collection from Gremlin. And I know there's fans out there of this publisher and creator of many uh, games for home computer as well as console. And what this is is six games and very diverse collection here. And I have way less experience with the games offered on this collection. I'm just going to be straight up. This is definitely a first look. I have a couple, couple games I've checked out before, but for the most part, this was a new experience for me. And so this is cart, multi-cart number 24. And I know that there are people out there that are really excited about this collection. So on this collection, there's six games, everything from early PlayStation games, uh, you know, a soccer game, a racing game, a Game Boy puzzle game, a uh, football uh, or soccer manager game, and Zool. So, you know, it's really kind of an eclectic uh, combination of games. First up is a soccer game. And I haven't played this one. I know that there's fans of it. I know there was a sequel, I think two sequels to this, but you know, it's not bad. Uh, what I played so far, I played the arcade mode of it. I don't have a lot of experience with this. I don't have any nostalgic connections to this game, but definitely tell me what you think of this game in the comments. But you know, for me, as, as an addition to, I wouldn't go out and get this game, but as, a, a, as part of the collection, I didn't think it was a bad game at all. Next, you had Brain Bender, and this was a puzzle game, one that I didn't have any experience with. You're reflecting light uh, to take out enemies, and uh, it was pretty a unique experience. You know, for me, this is definitely one I was terrible at. Need to play it more, and for sure. But there's you know well over 120 levels, so I think this is a great addition to this collection. Is it one that I'm gonna go back and play a lot? Probably not, but it is something different and unique. It's nice to see some Game Boy games. Next is an early racing game for PlayStation, Hardcore 4x4. I know it was on a couple other platforms. And, you know, I haven't played this one a lot either. I did think the control was a little too loose for me, for sure. But, 
it's nice to see more PlayStation games as it opens up uh, a wide variety of companies and it's nice to see that the Evercade is emulating PlayStation games successfully. So I want to see more PlayStation 1 games. Next, we had Premier Manager 97. Uh, I have zero experience with this game. If sports management is your thing, you're going to feel right at home with this. Tons of different things that you have to take care of with your team to get the, to the Premier League. Uh, you know, this is definitely not a game that I'm going to pursue, but this might be your thing for sure. Uh, there's lots here. Tell me in the comments if you've played it. Next up is Utopia, the creation of a nation. And this is kind of a Sim City style game. Again, not really a game that I'm going to go out and play, but uh, it more it's more focused on combat rather than building. But there's a lot here if you're into those Sim style games. Really in-depth game. And I know there are fans out there of this game and these types of games. Really what it comes down to is the one game I did have a little bit of experience with was Zool because it was released on the Sega Genesis. This I do believe is the Sega Genesis release from what I have played. One thing I would hope in the future is that Blaze Entertainment would do a better job at identifying which version of the game is included on these collections. But nevertheless, both of these are a great addition to the Evercade growing library with more planned in the future. I'm really excited. By far, I think the renovation collection for me personally is much better. But what did you think? Comment below. Thank you for coming to my channel. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a great day.